Hi, it's Matt from Digital Shift. This video is going to talk about local search engine. Want quality and free information on search engine optimization? Click on the link found in the description of this video. Click now. Engine optimization, and we're going to be reviewing three steps that you can take to rank better in Google Maps. But before we get started, let's have a closer look at what local search engine optimization is. So local SEO is the art and science of optimizing your business to appear in Google local map results, which are above Google organic results to get better visibility and to get more customers for your services in your service area. Okay, so let's have a closer look. Let's say that you're looking for plumbers in Edmonton. Now, depending on the time of day and where you're searching from, you're gonna get different results than this. But what we know for sure is that the top results, the very best results, are going to be Google Ads. Now, these ads are pay-per-click ads, which means every time a visitor clicks on these ads, it's gonna cost the company money. So definitely getting the top and the best position in Google is going to be the most expensive. Okay, so directly below Google Ads, we have Google Maps. Now, Google Maps is where all of the local SEO efforts pay off. You want to be in position one, two, or three. Anything lower than that, you're not gonna be displayed on the first page of Google. Now, the best part is, is that these Google local positions actually show up above organic listings, so they give you improved visibility. So what we'll see here is that we have Mr. Rooter Plumbing of Edmonton. We just started working with them in May of 2018, and we're continuously working with them to improve their position for various keywords that are being searched within Edmonton. Underneath the Google Maps section, we'll find the organic listings. So the organic position is going to be the third section of Google, you're gonna have the ads at the very top, then followed by Google Maps, which we just looked at, and then finally the organic listings. In this particular case, Mr. Rooter Plumbing of Edmonton is showing up in position number four. However, it is also showing up on Google Maps, so you're getting increased visibility and increased brand awareness. So how does local SEO work? Well, Google uses the occurrence of your business information or citation to determine how well you rank in Google Maps. Now, the most common type of citation is a business directory listing on the web. So a citation is actually the reference of your business information online, and it's not just limited to the business directory, and it's any reference to your business name, address, phone number, and website. So in our industry, that's referred to NAP plus W, so name, address, phone number, and website. Now that the technical stuff is out of the way, let's look at the next three steps to help improve your Google Maps ranking. So step number one is to get a local SEO audit done. Now make sure you get a brand new audit. If you've had an old one, you want to pull a brand new audit that shows the most relevant and most recent information from Google. Now step number two is to review that local SEO audit to determine what accounts you have access to and what accounts you need access to and also to review the different variations that Google has of your name, address, and phone number. So once you've reviewed and created a plan, the next and third and final step is going to be to fix all of your citations. Step one is the easiest step in the process. You just need to provide your business name, address, phone number, and website address, and that information will then be used as part of the audit. If you have information on any old addresses or any old phone numbers, that will also be helpful to help find old outdated listings and or duplicates. So step one is very easy. You can get a local SEO audit done by us. We'd love to help you with that. And all we need is your business name, address, and phone number. So after you get your report, it's time to review it. The report is gonna show you all the different variations that we found of your business listing and your business information online, including your business name and the different variations. So for example, Mr. Rooter Plumbing of Edmonton is the official business name, but we're able to find things like Mr. Rooter 
or Mr. Rooter Plumbing or Mr. Rooter Edmonton. And in Google's eyes, all of those things need to be consistent. So our reports will also include information of all the correct citations and information and links of all the incorrect citations. So if you wanted to, you can actually go through the report and fix it all by yourself. Or if you're too busy or don't have the skill to do it, we will be happy to take that off your hands and do that for you. Now, one thing I want to mention as well is we're actually going to be doing a second part to this video that's going to be doing a deeper dive directly into the local SEO audit where we're going to show you how to review the SEO audit and how to get actionable insight from the SEO audit report. The final third step is the most important. It actually means going and fixing your citations. This includes claiming any unclaimed listings so that you can control and own them, fixing incorrect business information. So if a name wasn't quite right, we want to make sure we update that. Most importantly, we want to remove duplicate directory listings. Google does not like duplicate anything. In addition, we want to create new citations uh, for the business so that we have a better optimization profile. So the cool thing about our local SEO audit reports is we actually provide a competitive analysis of your top three competitors to show you exactly where they're listed and what their citations are. So that gives you some competitive insight. Now remember, to rank in Google Maps, you need to have consistent and accurate business information across all of your citations. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to contact me. My information can be found below. And most importantly, don't forget to check out part two of this video where we're going to be looking at the SEO audit report itself. We're going to be reviewing the report, looking at different sections of that report. And the goal is to give you actionable strategies so that you can improve your Google Maps ranking. It's Matt from Digital Shift. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Want quality and free information on search engine optimization? Click on the link found in the description of this video. Click now.